Hey, ladies and gentlemen, take a look at the screen. Atlanta police officer, the man, the black man, you know, one of y'all kings, sure he's got a mammy somewhere, kicks a woman in the head. Very disturbing. Very disturbing. Uh, that's why I tell you the hatred for black people have a hatred for themselves in general. They love everybody else but hate themselves. And they really have a strong hatred for the for the black woman. No doubt. So check this out. Fair use. And if you have any kids around, you know, walk away. I mean, don't have the kids. I don't want them to see this. Uh, if you're a, a victim of DV, uh, domestic violence, uh, this just kind of gives you a warning. This may be very sensitive. Just seeing it, it, oh, just so, here we go. Fair use. And I will then do my commentary. Now breaking at six, an Atlanta police officer suspended without pay after video shows him kicking a woman in the head. That footage posted on social media by Atlanta Uncensored. It happened in the Summer Hill neighborhood over the weekend. APD says the sergeant's actions appear to be unacceptable and they're mm. concerned with the lack of reaction from the other officer at the scene. In a statement, Atlanta PD says the actions of those in the video appear to fall outside our standards and training. However, it's important for the Office of Professional Standards to conduct a thorough investigation to determine the facts surrounding this incident. So you saw it for yourselves. Unbelievable. Police officer suspended without pay after mm. video shows him kicking a woman in the head. That footage posted on social media by Atlanta Uncensored. It, it happened in the summer. So this is a black man. This is a black cop who definitely hates black women. Don't be surprised if he got Becky's at home. He might be one of those. He definitely hates black women. He hates the skin that he's in and his skin is very black. You have those, some people like that, they, they hate themselves. So they try to align themselves with other people of other races. And they try to even adopt any type of racist ideology, anything that's anti-black. So if they hate, if they hurt, hate the color of plaid, anybody who's wearing plaid resembles plaid. They, and if there's any type of hatred toward people that were plaid, they assimilate to that. Look at him. Look like he also has maybe man boobs. Interesting. This is inexcusable. A black woman on the ground. And as you can see, the little short mammy, she just standing there watching. That that's, uh, I'm going to peg her as a mammy. And I guarantee you, this big ox, he would not do that to any other race. Because he wants to identify with them. I'm glad it's on tape. Uh, they should press charges. He needs, to be, he needs to be more than suspended. He needs to be arrested. And aside a, a law, so he needs to be locked up. They had one before. Uh, and I know they say, you know, back the blue. Sometimes the black cops don't get it. You're still black. That's a fact. There was a cop who was working a second job uh, as a security in Walmart. And he accused the black man. The black man they saw were just, you know, had, had his bad walking out. He accused the black man of stealing a, oh, a tomato. Accused him of stealing a tomato. The man is like, no, I didn't steal a tomato. The man had already paid for it and had the receipt. The black officer took out his baton and started beating that man like something senseless. And it was caught on camera. So I guess he thought, you know, uh, at Walmart, I mean, he it was just crazy. He even like broke his leg. It was He was just beating him like something crazy. No, you're mad about your life. You've probably been more than likely been pay, uh, playing Uncle Tom and they still don't respect you. Oh, yeah, that, that happens. They try to identify. They think, oh, I'm going to be different. I want to be accepted by somebody else, by people that don't look like me. So you pay Uncle Tom for so so long and it doesn't work out and you're mad and frustrated and you respect them, but you hate your own. That's why you act out and do what you do what you do. And I guarantee the same thing here. He may have Becky at home and thinking, oh, yeah, you know, I, I'm accepted. I hate black women. And he does because that's why he did that. He would not do that to a white woman. I would I don't see it happening. I really don't. So a lot of self-hatred and the little one here again, uh, uh, mammy officer just standing by, uh, I'm willing to bet this is what they do on the normal regular basis. Uh, it's just caught on tape this time. 
thank goodness someone was watching. Because the woman would have said, hey, kick me, and they wouldn't believe her. But yeah, the black officer that was doing security at Walmart accused the black man of uh, stealing a tomato, and he beat him senselessly. Uh, where is that officer now? Uh, he got 10 years. Uh-huh, in jail. Hope it was worth it. But that goes to show you, for him to trip out over a tomato, dude, and the black man had paid for it? Really? You know, you, you're getting your rear end kick by the dominant society, and you've probably been, been got your little, you know, that little coon chip activated, and you're still not accepted. It's still didn't go right for you. And so you're so mad. But you, we, we all know you're scared of Brad. Are you scared of him? We all know you are scared of Brad. You want to be like him, so. You can't be, because number one, a lot of those brats that you want to be like, they think, and they don't have self-hatred, and they protect their families, their community, and definitely their women. You're not going to come act, act out of pocket with them. I can guarantee you, you're going to catch those hands on that slick head, that slick meat head you got. You will catch those hands. But this just shows in the black community the, the, the self-hatred. And the little mammy just standing there with her, her little short boots on, little mammy. Mm-hmm. She's probably enjoying seeing this here. Oh, yeah, you have a lot of, you understand, a lot of mammies, they hate other black women. For whatever reason, they've been left holding a bag, too, and they hate other black women. So this here, the hatred in the community is real. I hate to tell you, ladies, the hatred of the black man toward black women, it is real. Keep caping for them. They'll turn around and snatch that cape off from you and choke you with it. Keep caping. Some of these mammies run out of money. See what's going to happen. Or still have your money and let them know you've had enough. See what will happen. I've been seeing the comments are saying, hey, some of these women are afraid of their sons. And I thought, you know, I thought, oh, my gosh. When I thought about it, it makes sense. Yeah, that they're afraid of them. Mm-hmm. Afraid. But yeah, I had no sympathy. Because guess what? That's what you raised. You put this here, and you've perpetuated, you have pampered it, you have caught it, supported it. Now you got a monster that you're scared of. It's out of pocket. So don't try, then they want to put that little angry bird in the male form on other people. It's, un, it's unreal. So this here, mm-hmm. the hatred is so strong in the community. And it's a sign of weakness. A sign of weakness. Change the color skin of the woman, I guarantee you, he'll be the biggest Uncle Tom massacring card you ever seen. I guarantee you. I've seen how people like that when they hate them, how they operate. I'm glad it's on tape. Of course, she will sue them. If I'm on a jury, I would say, uh, yeah, $30 million should do it. It's not necessary. Because a female, she's on the ground, she's handcuffed not necessary so thanks for watching for those who may have an issue with this i understand any victims of domestic violence my heart goes out with you but and if it happened in the past guess what don't let that determine your future thanks for watching feel free to comment like subscribe and share and i am out